I don't know how long it's been since I've been on here. I don't know when I'm uploading this, but whatever. As you can see, I'm looking a little different. I'm looking a little crazy. I did try this new look right here with black lips and a cut crease. And today's look is also a collab with Melina. She actually goes to my school, which is crazy because um, whenever I was in middle school, no one I knew even really did makeup or even at least did a YouTube channel. She started like two months ago and has already hit as much as I have. That's what you get when you're ugly like me. I've been on for two months and I've been on for two years and you know, dang, she's just, she is growing like a freaking weed. Um, in the summertime. You guys should seriously, seriously go check her out. I freaking love her videos. So I was like, girl, we should do a collab. And we have both been like, oh my God, we've been doing the same looks lately. And so have I. And I was like, maybe I should try something different with a cut crease. <laughs> I'm literally almost done. You want some Halloween for you? Oh, you look so pretty. Oh my gosh, you look like like you're like the Halloween witch. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll Mom. be down. Close the door. You're not my sister. Come on, me. Like I was saying. She's That's different. Sorry for that. I was saying. Oh yeah, we both want to do something different. So I was like, let's try a cut crease and. I was like, mm, maybe we should do a black lip. And she was like, yes. So I was like, yes. And then here we are. Mm. I am filming this look first. So I don't really know what her look looks like yet. But I'll have a picture right here. I totally wear this on Halloween night if you're going to a party. If you're in the fall mood. Because this is warm. And then this is dark. And it sort of looks orange and black. So it's like Halloween sort of I'm digging it and I'm just digging everything so yeah like I said please go check out Melina her YouTube username is last year and Catman do I still do not know what that means hmm. oh and I forgot to say I sort of put like um, some primer spray on my finger and like patted it on my lids so it's sort of like a glossy type of cut crease my lips are a glossy black so it's like glossy or a thing Go check out my social medias. I have all of them down below. And if you want me to do any Halloween looks, requests, or anything, just put them down here. I have some good ideas. Just saying. Let's just get into the tutorial so I can be quiet. So, Hey, everybody. This is VoiceOver Mackenzie. How are you doing in your life? I use this concealer as my eyeshadow base. And I'm pretty sure it's the Maybelline Concealer and Master Conceal or something like that. I don't know what the hell. Um, then I took this Creme Brulee eyeshadow from Unwild and I just set that crease like a, I don't know, I just did that. Or you're going to look a freaking mess. Okay, then I took the, uh, then I took the Vaseline Lip Therapy and Cocoa Butter and moisturized them lips because you don't want to be looking dusty crusty. Then I took this Scotch Tape. And I put it beside my eyes so that your eyeshadow can look bomb as fuck. Um, then I took this NYX matte eyeshadow in, I don't know, what? I think it's Dance the Ties or something. And I used it as like a transition. Also, I did do my eyebrows off camera. Just so you guys don't have to watch that boring process. But yeah. For the rest of this eyeshadow look, I used the Morphe 35O palette. I just took a bunch of warm browns and nudes and oranges and put them in my crease. Just make it look poppin'. And yeah, you just, I don't know. And you don't have to worry about the stuff on your lid because you can do that with concealer later. So. <laughs> then I took the a dusty brown and just put it in my outer V. This is the point where it's okay to be a little bit dusty. Um, yeah. How are you guys' day? I mean, I might as well ask that. Like, I, nobody ever asks that in these videos. Like, how was your day today? I mean, I had a pretty cool day. I mean, I went to church today. 
you know, praise Jesus. Amen. No. Praise Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. And then keep blending until your freaking hand hurts. I hate pe seeing people at school with their eyeshadow not even blended. It looks like a freaking charcoal, like, spot on their face. Like, please blend it. Or I will come over there with a freaking blending brush and blend it for you. So please, get it together and blend your freaking shadow. That's not meant to be mean, but, you know, get it together. Then I took a very bright orange and just like really blend that out, make it look real warm. Then I took the brown, a really dark brown, and just blend out, blended out the outer V again. Long process. And that's almost the final eye look. <laughs> We're almost there. Keep blending. What are you doing, Mackenzie? Can can I even edit? Why do I add in all these random parts? Then I highlighted my brow bone with like the lightest color in the Morphe palette. It's like the top left, I think, but I just made it look like I have an eyebrow. <laughs> then I like etched out my where I want the cut crease with the same brown from earlier. And it's way easier to do the concealer later if you like have it etched out and stuff. So that's what I did. Then I took the same Master Conceal Concealer from Maybelline New York in the color Fair. Um, and I used it to etch out my cut crease. Uh, eh. You gotta make it look cut. You gotta make it look like scissors. Like you're cutting on the dotted lines. That's what you gotta make it look like. And make sure that, like, if you don't have a lid like me, because I have real hooded eyes, so I have to, like, make my own freaking lid. But if you have, like, gorgeous round almond eyes, then it's so freaking easy. But me, I have to, like, go over my lid, and it's just, it gets a little hard, you know? It gets, gets a little bit difficult, you know? I, I struggle. Then I took the brow bone color from earlier and just set the concealer part of my lid. Um, then I also took the brown and like redid it to like just make it noticeable. And I took a shimmery shade from the Morphe palette and just put it all over my lid. <laughs> then I tried to take this copper and it looked weird as heck. So I don't even know why I even tried to do that. Like, what are you even doing? Then I tried to like blend it out with like this other shimmery color, which sort of worked, but in all honesty, I don't really think it did. But you know, it ended up looking a little, end up looking better. Um, and then I took like this really shimmery shade from the Morphe palette, and it made like my lids look glossy. Then I took this random gold glitter from my drawer, probably from like I don't know the dollar store or something. It's a little bit Vaseline. -y. A little greasy, but it sort of made my eyelid really glossy, which I really liked for this look. Um, and then I did my other eye. It ended up looking really weird. I don't really know what happened there, but you know, just you know, cover it or squint a little, and it'll it'll look good. Then I took this NYC um, white eyeliner to brighten my inner corners, and I took this Wish app eyelashes. Um, I'll put the link below if you want to buy them. Just kidding, I'm way too lazy to do that. But yeah, I used the Duo Eyelash Glue in Clear and yeah. And I used the NYC Big Eyes Mascara or something. I don't know what it is. It just works. And while I'm waiting for me to do the other eye and stuff like that, um, Melina did do her look just recently. And it is way warmer, the eye and the lip. Um, she decided to do a way dark but warm lip and a warmer cut crease, but it still looks good. And I love how in collaborations you can like choose from, like, it's like a selection of looks. I just think that's really cool. 
I don't know. And here's me jamming out to Future and eating my Cheez-Its. Because, you know, that's what I do when I wait for my eyelashes to dry. Um, yeah. Now I'm so wasted on love. You put me down, but still don't know why. I've been affected, you know. Then I took this brown eyeliner from my um, makeup drawer. I don't really know what brand it is. I just picked it. Um, I think it made my eye look, look way more neutral than way too bold like black would. I just think it was way more fall. I don't know. Then I took this wet rag um, to clean off all the fallout and tell me how fallout got on my forehead. I don't know. I just need help. And this was the final look for my eyes. I love it. Look how cute it is. Oh. Then for my face, I used the Skinnavia Primer Spray. And I moisturized and primed it. And then I used this Super Stay Better Skin Maybelline Foundation. And I used my finger just to like dot it on my face. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. Then I took my Real Techniques sponge or something. It's just a sponge. Um, and I used it to blend out my foundation to the best of my ability. Because um, you do not want that line in between your neck and your face. You'll be looking like the Adam Family to orange. You do not want that because, oh, Lord, please help the people at my school get their life together. Then I used the Master Conceal Concealer again, and I used a little bit, a little bit under my eyes because um, if I use too much, it just cakes up everything because I do have a very dry skin. So, I just blended that and look at me. I was trying to hide the Cheez-It bag. You cannot hide the Cheez-It bag, Mackenzie. We all know you're eating. Then I baked my face with the Cody Airspun Powder. Um, I'm normally not this extra, and, um, yeah, I normally never do this, but I decided to do it. And there's my little sister's friends. They be popping in every single second, but, yeah. Um, no. Then I used the NYC Sunny Bronzer to bronze up my face on the normal areas, and just to make me not look like the walls behind me. <laughs> Then it was time for my favorite part of makeup, highlighting. I used random shimmers from the Morphe palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter and starlight. I just used lots of things. I just caked, 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 baked, baked. I just put it all up on there. And then you want to be glowing in the dark. So that's what I did. And then I also used that fan brush to wipe off the baking powder. Oh, and I also put the highlight like on my inner corners and brow bone. Then I took um, the same shadows from my eye and I put it under my eye to just, you know, blend everything out and just piece it all together. And then I applied more Vaseline because with this climate right now, I cannot be taking dry lips. And yeah, this was me with my hair down. Then I took the Skinnavia setting spray and sprayed that on my face to set it and make it last all night. Then I used this Ben and I paint in bl charcoal black, black, I don't know, the concealer brush because I do not have a lipstick. I only have this paint that is black and I sort of overlined a little bit, but yeah, it's the only thing I really have. And I also used a gloss. It's an orange gloss, but it doesn't show orange at all, obviously. 
but I just needed it to be way glossier. I wanted it to be a glossy, dewy look, so that's what I did. And this is the final look. I love it so much. It is so freaking cute. Go add me on Snapchat, Instagram. They will be coming up, my personal and my makeup Instagram. And check out um, Melina's look. I freaking love the look so much. It is so freaking gorgeous. Um, yeah, what am I saying? I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so proud of this look and how gorgeous it is. I love it. Um, go check out Melina. Hers will be down below. It might be more dramatic. It might be less dramatic. I don't know. Um, yeah. Please hit that like button. Subscribe. Comment anything. Your Halloween plans. What you want to do for Halloween. You're excited for fall. As you can see, I am. I will try to put the products down below, but if I do a voiceover, I will say what they are. So it's like, why should I even put the products down below, you know? And then people be like, oh, what is, what did you use again? And it's like, it's in the description. Should I even have one? If mm -mm. Go check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, and subscribe and do all that type of stuff that you guys should do.